disc golf. It's more than just a recreational pastime, it's also a collegiate sport. And Liberty University's disc golf team is unlike any other schools. Most school programs are run by students. And so when a student graduates, the program may die. If they don't leave anybody behind to kind of help run that program, then it's hard. It's hard for schools that to, to don't, don't have a system like Liberty has in place. And so it's incredible to have this scenario, to be able to have these many guys and girls come out and compete. Um, it's not like anything in the other, anywhere in the country. Only in its third year, the program is making remarkable strides. This year, the team qualified for nationals back in October. To qualify that early in the year takes a lot of pressure off. Um, because really the bigger tournaments start in April with the Nationals and things like that, our home qualifier, different things that we have. So to do that early, we really can focus on a lot of skills that the teammates really need to learn. Just working on my game, asking people, asking the guys on the team how I can improve my shots, that's a big part is just um, looking to them as mentors and um, humbling myself a little bit and saying, okay, what am I doing wrong here? And how can I improve this shot? And you know, what should I do in this situation? Just focus on the things that, uh, as our coaches told us, the things that we notice aren't the best about our game. You know, putting is always very important, but uh, we have our strengths. You know, usually for me, it's a backhand shot. My weakness is definitely the forehand shot, so I'm going to be practicing that a lot. But there is more to this team than throwing a frisbee. Disc golfing provides a unique opportunity for the team to share Christ with others. And so I see the tee pad as my witnessing platform. Um, and I try to teach that to the, to the team here, that they have an opportunity that they're going to spend an hour, hour and a half with guys that are far from Christ. Maybe they've never seen Christ and they're going to represent you know, Christ in that aspect as they are on the course uh, competing and how their attitude reflects when they make a bad shot or a good shot. It's always a great evangelism opportunity. You're meeting people who, in this sport, it really doesn't have a great pass. It's a little bit of a, of a rough pass with the sport. And so I think always trying to um, get that mindset that you are representing God and you are out there meeting people who may not have heard of him before. They're in an aspect where they can be in an environment that can share Christ if they are bold enough to take that stand. So not only are we teaching disc golf skills, we're teaching you know how to open up a conversation with somebody, how to share Christ with somebody, so that they feel comfortable doing that. You know, and that may not be their skill set or their their plan here at Liberty to study those skills, but we're going to teach them that as they're on the course because that's what I believe that God's called us to be. And the team also uses disc golf to bring honor and glory to God. Disc golf is a great way to learn how to glorify God because it teaches you patience with yourself and with other people and it teaches you how to recover from um, every, like every shot you take. You know, if you have a bad shot, you can't remember that shot for the next one. You have to move on and say, okay, this is a new shot and I'm starting over. And I think that's, that's the way God is with us. He doesn't hold us accountable to our sins and he forgives us and we have to move on. With only a few weeks until nationals, the team is working hard to bring home the gold. For LFSN, I'm Katie Rochelle.